Hi, welcome back to Calls GRC. So, it's been one year ago since I first got a parrot and affy. So, uh, for full disclosure here, this is not the first and affy I got, this is the third parrot and affy. So I'll just tell you briefly, the first and affy I bought came DOA out of the box. The gimbal wouldn't reset, it just kept staying down at one angle. Sent that back and got another one. I then had that for a month and six weeks or so. The firmware wasn't the best and also the app wasn't great so I decided to sell it as well and at that point people were saying that they were falling out of the sky. I'd never experienced that and my own stupidity led me to believe some of that. What I would say is fly the drone, have fun with it, don't just not fly it because someone has fell out of the sky and they've had a problem with it. So I did sell it. They then dropped the price quite dramatically, so I bought another one, so it didn't actually cost me anything in all that time. So I bought the Anafe. So, how do I think it stands up today compared to other stuff? Obviously since this came out, the Xenos came out, the X8SEs came out, and a few other things. The Mavic Air still it's competition, but this is now quite a bit cheaper. Today when I've checked this is £529 at Drones Direct, I bet you can get it cheaper if you shop around. And about six months or so ago I posted a video where you could buy the 449 on Amazon for the weekend. I don't know if anybody bought it at that price, but that was a fantastic price. And I'm sure if you shop around you might be able to get it cheaper than that. So, for standing the test of time, this thing's done remarkably well. They've improved the firmware on this, They've also improved the app greatly from what it was when I first got it. They then made the additional items 99 pence instead of the £15 they were to give you the flight plan, flat plan and to give you the um, follow me modes. They used to be £15 each. They dropped that when I got it with £15 each. So now they're a 99p. I think, I don't know if they still are. It was when I purchased them anyway. And this drone just became better and better. Why I love this thing so much is, believe it or not, this thing has handled wind remarkably well. If you own one of these, you already know this. And that's, be, it must, I'm guessing it's something to do with a prop setup, but this thing will fly happily in wind. It doesn't get buffeted, and it's the lightest drone I've got, and it doesn't get buffeted around. And I get asked a lot of times, what's better, this or the Mavic Air? In my opinion, and my opinion only, this. You know, people watch the time wonder I love DJI, and I love my Mavic Air, I wouldn't ever get rid of it. But I think this is a better product. I think the camera's every bit as good. The fact that this thing's lighter, the flight time's better, battery the cheaper for it, and the fact it's now quite a bit cheaper makes it better. Another thing that when I got this, people were saying the controller's very toy grade or it's just not good. I absolutely love this thing, I've had no problem with it, the resolution on the sticks is great, in other words when I move this, the craft moves exactly the way I expect it to behave, there's no lag between either, and the resolution's great. It feels nice in your hand, the only thing I don't like about this is I don't like the phone holder very much, but you can get additional things, I actually made something that I could hold a tablet on if I wanted to do, but your phone fits in it fine. But I kind of get what people are saying, maybe it should have come with some kind of tablet holder, but no one else gives you one. So why would they? Returns home, works flawlessly on it. Like I said before, the camera's great, it does have HDR mode. I don't actually film in HDR. I find it a little bit harsh, but... I don't think you can really beat it for the cost. And like I say, everything about it is easy to get parts for. A lot of people complain about the SD card slot because it doesn't have a slot it has a what used to be a SIM card holder in old phones that don't even have that in phones anymore it's just slotting I, I don't really know why they did this unless it's a space thing maybe they decided they couldn't get a slot down here but it's not the best design in the world but I never take the card out I connect this thing up to my computer so I don't, I've never I don't remember the last time I took the card out. I think I took the card out to swap it when I put a bigger card in and that's it. I didn't like the original card that it comes with. And that was about the only thing left, on I, in my opinion, on this drone that I didn't like. Obviously a sensor underneath for optical flow. People say that it's got no sensors on the front. Well, at this price point, nothing else has it. At this price point, the Mavic Air does have, of course. But once you've flown this thing a bit, you never really 
find you using them. And I don't remember the last time I used optical avoidance on anything. So you quite simply get used to it. And of course, this still has the trick of being the only one that where you can put the gimbal fully up. So I have a lot of drones, as you can probably tell on this channel. And the, these type of drones I want to keep. I never get rid of these. So I own this, the Mavic Air. Obviously, two Mavic, the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Zoom, the Outer Levo. And this still is the one that puts a smile on my face when I fly it because you could, it shifts if you want it to do, but it's effortless to get out. I just take it out of the case, flick the arms open, and I'm up and away. And as I said, you can fly this in the wind. So if it is a quite a windy day and I just want to fly, I don't know, if I don't want to fly a long, long way away, this is what I'll use because it's that good in the wind. The thing that I worried about when I got it have not turned into anything. I worried the gimbal looked a bit fragile. It's never had any, never caused me any concern. The bendy arms, which I now love, never cause any con If I've never had a moment's problem with this drone. I've not flown it maybe as much as I should have done because of the amount of drones I've got, but I've flown it quite a bit. I'm going to leave you with some footage that I've flown on this. And it's not from today, it's from the various times I've flown it over the years. I've put something together to show you what I think looks good on it and it really is a, an outstanding drone and at the price point it is I don't think you can beat it so if you're looking for something to get into this could definitely be the one you've obviously got the stuff that's a lot cheaper than this like Xeno is a lot lot cheaper than this but this isn't a Xeno and it, it doesn't fly anything like a Xeno it's very precise in the air it's a very well made product the Xeno's right for the money you're paying for it I don't have no issue with the Xeno, you know, I think it's great now since they've done the updates on it, but it's certainly nowhere near as good as this. The camera's nowhere near as good, and it doesn't fly anywhere near as well. So, it's a highly recommended for me after a year. I wouldn't dream of getting rid of it, and I think it's a fantastic price. And certainly, if you're looking to get into something and you want, you haven't had a camera drone before, you're maybe looking at the Spark, and you maybe want to spend a little bit more money, then I go for this. At 529, I bet you can, if you shop around, you can get it for under the £500 mark at the minute. Or you can get a second hand one. So, I highly recommend it. So, I'm going to leave you with some footage. As I say, it won't film today, it's been filmed over the last few months. Hope you enjoy it and have a fantastic day. Thanks very much. Bye bye.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up